Mr. McCoy here, ready to go on a big game hunt for the week of June 20 through 24, 2016. Yes, big game was our quarry as we had the opportunity to continue our perilous trek across Africa. And as students had the opportunity to continue working on their African research reports, we continued to lay the groundwork for these presentations that each child will make featuring his or her African country. We discussed correct bibliographic format in conjunction with this research. We also worked to write longer, more coherent sentences that use conjunctions as well. Students also had the opportunity to bring to life The Road to Bussa, a play about a most unusual group of African animals. Our math focus was on adding related fractions, subtracting related fractions, comparing fraction products, repeated subtraction with fractions, and fraction division. Students had the opportunity to play a multitude of thrilling games to practice these skills. So pack up your gear, load up your camel, and keep reading. We are about to have the opportunity to go on a big game hunt. There's more in this week's thrilling edition. Help your child go deeper with his or her African research by directing him or her to the History of Africa website found in this week's edition of Mr. McCoy's Summer Adventure Weekly Log. There's also a website that says, A Fantastic Trip to Ancient Egypt and the Nile River. These will help your child become even more of an expert on Africa. During the course of your child's summer adventure, I have worked really hard to help him or her achieve academic success. There is a section in this week's newsletter entitled Academic Success, and it says in essence that one of the most important factors in achieving academic success is to recognize that people all have their own learning style. Be aware of what way your child learns best. Approach a subject from lots of different angles. Games, activities, books, flashcards, computer software, the same kinds of things that we do in class every single day. Working with the TV or radio playing is not a good idea. Neither is working with friends because too much time is wasted chatting. The best thing to do is just to get right down to work. So check out that article. In conjunction with helping your child achieve academic success, there is a section in this week's edition of Mr. McCoy's Summer Adventure Weekly Log entitled Planning Ahead. It involves helping your child get ready for fifth grade by making sure that he or she has a place at home that is conducive to getting right down to doing homework. For example, your child needs a good writing surface, a comfortable chair and adequate lighting, pencils and a pencil sharpener, a ruler, shelves for books, a clock, a storage area for supplies, those kinds of things. The time has come to help your child truly get ready to buckle down for fifth grade. The expectations will be different from what the expectations were in fourth grade and your child needs to be ready. So check out that information in this week's edition. The African folk tales have continued in summer adventure. The links to this week's African folk tales can be found in this week's edition of Mr. McCoy's Summer Adventure Weekly Log. Likewise, the Egypt game has also continued and those links can be found in this week's edition as well. There's also another section in this week's edition entitled Another Motivational Tip and it says Point out the new things you learn with enthusiasm. Discuss the different ways you find new information, whether you're looking for gardening tips on the internet or taking a class in American literature, and let your child see you in action. Choose an activity that is unfamiliar to you both and learn from the beginning how to accomplish that activity. It truly helps your child uh, build an additional enthusiasm for learning. Coming during the week of June 27, 2016, we will be heading out 
of Africa. It will be the fifth edition of Mr. McCoy's Summer Adventure Weekly Log. Believe me, we are going to end this adventure with a bang and not with a whimper. So be sure you tune in next week. <laughs>